Dear students, families, and volunteers. Hello, my name is Serge Asitian, Vice President and Private Wealth Advisor at BMO Wealth Management. And I also serve on the Champions for Learning Board of Directors. This year, the landscape has changed because of the coronavirus pandemic, affecting all of our families and schools. While we would prefer to be with you in person to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020, we all must do our part to slow the spread and continue practicing social distancing. As such, we have put together this virtual celebration to recognize your hard work and perseverance. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Champions for Learning's virtual countdown to Gap and Gown. Students, we are incredibly proud of each of this year's graduates. You have adapted in ways that no one could have predicted and have continued to rise above the obstacles you've been facing. The skills you have learned through these challenges will help you as you continue your education and enter the workforce. You will become champions for our community's future, and we are grateful for your dedication and determination, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for each of you. This year marks the third year in a row that BMO Wealth Management is sponsoring the Countdown to Cap and Gown event. As an employee of BMO Wealth Management, I am grateful to work for a company who invests in our community and encourages its employees to give their gift of time to support causes across the community. Be most proud to support Champions for Learning and all the wonderful work they do for our community. In closing, congratulations to all the students. And once again, we are also proud of you and look forward to seeing all that you will accomplish. Thank you. Hello seniors, on behalf of our team at Champions for Learning, I want to congratulate you on your high school graduation, your successful completion of our program, and for staying on your path to success. You inspire us each and every day. Every time that bell rang in our lab, we celebrated right along with all 90 of you. Each and every college acceptance, and there were 285 of them, and each scholarship earned all $3.6 million of them. That bell is not just a sign of accomplishment, it's a symbol of how we lift each other up. That support of one another, the encouragement, the shared accomplishment and pride, just one small way that champions are made. Parents, thank you for making this choice for your sons and daughters to participate in our program. And thank you for sharing your wonderful teenagers with us over the years. Everyone at Champions for Learning looks forward to joining your families, mentors, and community members in watching these seniors soar and continue to lift others up through their life journey. Seniors, please remember you are forever a part of our community of champions. As you travel your educational journey, please know that we are only a phone call or email away, and we look forward to your involvement as alumni. Congratulations for all that you have already accomplished and best wishes for your continued success.
Congratulations to the Champions for Learning Class of 2020. As the statewide organization for Florida's local education foundations, we're honored to support you through the Education Foundation of Collier County. Clearly, this last stretch of your high school career has been a memorable one. Nothing like this time period has ever happened in the history of our nation. And now, history will have its eyes on you. And we predict that when we look back, we'll see you as a generation of strong, resilient, creative problem solvers. Congratulations to each one of you, and we're honored to be one of your champions. Hi, my name is Kaylee Wells. I wanna congratulate the class of 2020 on all of their incredible accomplishments. The following students have won the Never Give Up Award. Whether completing a multitude of college and scholarship applications or always actively participating in lab sessions, they took every opportunity to make it count. Tristan Bashaw, Janelle Below, Alejandro Beristain, Naimi Siracu, Majin Etienne, Natalie Fidel, Rosalise Gonzalez, Alicia Green, Eric Kenton, Wijanali Policier, Angeline Pierre, Belensky Riffin, Isis Roquet, Emma Sullivan, Joseph Tanner, Amisael Vega, Markson Tanis, and Cynthia Marcelin.
Hi, my name is Maria Jimenez Lara, and I'm the CEO of the Naples Children and Education Foundation. On behalf of our staff and our board of trustees, we wanna congratulate all of you graduating high schoolers, class of 2020. We are so proud of this accomplishment, and I know you've worked really, really hard to get here. One piece of advice that I'd like to share is always leave things better than how you found them. It has served me well in my career as a student and as a professional in the community. NCEF, the Naples Children and Education Foundation, wholeheartedly believes in the future of young people. It is the mere reason we exist and work so hard to help our community. We believe in organizations like Champions for Learning and many others. We wish the class of 2020 the very best and I can't wait to see all you accomplish. Congratulations. Hey y'all, my name is Cassandra Ortiz. I work with both 11th and 12th grade students here at Champions for Learning as a college and career coordinator. I would just like to start off by saying congratulations to our class of 2020 seniors. You guys did it. All your hard work has paid off, so congratulations. You guys should be very proud of yourselves. It has been such an honor and so much fun working with you all and seeing just how much you've grown as a person and both as a student during this time. So again, congratulations. I wish you guys nothing but the best on your future endeavors. I would just like to recognize a few of our class of 2020 seniors with our Perfect Attendance Award. So as part of this program, students commit to coming to lab once a week and these following students have attended every single lab in both their junior and senior year or have only missed one. So congratulations to you guys and I wish you guys nothing but the best. Yesenia Avila, Janelle Below, Alejandro Beristain, Sherlon Sherabin, Kim Collector, Majin Etienne, Roslis Gonzalez, Alicia Green, Giselle Hernandez, Maite Herrera, Victor Kavashnev, Lena Lee, Renee Listrom, Yoselin Lopez, Lindsay Leiden, Cynthia Marcelin, Yadira Martinez Mata, Christy Miguels, Gabriela Morales, Diana Ortega, Wiginelli Polizier, Steve Pierlas, Kimberly Ramirez, Wilfredo Rodriguez, Isis Roque Perez, Brisa Ruiz, and Gustavo Edvina.
Hi, my name is Mark Santanis. I'm a senior at Palmetto Ridge High School, and I'm the Champions for Learning College and Career Prep Program. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to take a moment to thank the community for their support of Champions for Learning and for making this program possible. We are so thankful for Champions for Learning because it has helped us to navigate through the process of applying and getting into college, and they have helped to keep us all on track. Some of the ways they have helped include guidance in creating our resumes, to reviewing our personal statements, to helping us complete the FAFSA. This program has also been such a blessing to my family because it has helped me become the first person in it to go to college, which has been a dream for my mother and I since day one. It has also improved and has helped develop my social networking skills through weekly labs and amazing community programs such as Naya Champions. Naya Champions was the first gala event I had ever attended. Though I was nervous at first because my assigned role was to mingle and start conversations with the guests during the reception, it ended up being a very fun event that I will never forget. I know that the whole senior class felt the same way. One of the experiences I am most grateful for is the opportunity for us to visit different colleges in Florida. These colleges included UF, USF, FAU, and FIU. Because of these campus visits, we were able to get a taste of what it's like to go to each of these schools. This was ultimately a key part of my decision to attend FIU. I knew FIU was the one because of the immediate excitement and energy I got from being there. I can probably say that I will be attending FIU and will be going through their accelerated five-year program for architecture. Once again, thank you to my family and the Champions for Learning staff for helping us in these crucial steps towards our future. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on behalf of the class of 2020. We are all grateful for the support of Champions for Learning and for all those who make this program possible. Hello, I'm Bill Barker and I'm the publisher of the Naples Daily News. I've also been working with Champions for Learning for over seven years and am a former board chair. In that role, I got the opportunity to work with and get to know your superintendent, Kamala Patton, quite well. And I just had to take a moment to congratulate you on this milestone of graduation. I know this COVID-19 virus has really disrupted a lot of your, your normal uh, routines uh, and your ceremonies, but we're writing the stories and, and I've been encouraged by your creativity and your enthusiasm and your resiliency. And those traits will serve you very well as you move on into your next uh, phase of life, the next journey on your life story. And I wanna encourage you to continue to be creative and, and to be resilient and to accept and stand up to every challenge. You all are our future leaders. You're the future parents of our children and future entrepreneurs. And I encourage you to continue a life of learning, whether it be formal through liberal arts colleges or tech schools, developing skills, or whether it be starting businesses as entrepreneurs. You're, you're a great generation, and we'll be here rooting you on. So on behalf of the Naples Daily News, I congratulate you on your graduation. Hello, Champions for Learning. That's right. You'll notice I didn't say students of Champions for Learning because that's not truly who you are anymore. Now you are champions. My name is Mary Beth Geyer, and I'm with the Richard M. Schultz Family Foundation, and we've been super proud to be able to support the college and career prep program at Champions for the past several years. And in part, we're proud of it because of the amazing staff that you've had to interact with, the cool workspace and the computers. But most importantly, we're proud of the work that we support because of students like you, Champions. You have gone through four years of high school and come out with amazing grades. You've pushed through the extra work at Champions for Learning and hopefully have come away with maybe some scholarships in your pocket. And most recently, you've had to adapt to some pretty interesting challenges as a result of coronavirus. And you've succeeded and you've come out on top. You're champions. We really believe in your future. We know that you're going to be superstars in whatever career path you choose. And most of all, we know that you're amazing young people. So again, congratulations. Thanks for being a part of the Champions for Learning program and wishing you all the best in your future. Good luck. Hi, I'm Ashley Bowers, College and Career Coordinator at Champions for Learning. I wanna congratulate the class of 2020 on your many academic and extracurricular accomplishments. This year certainly didn't end as imagined, but I hope now more than ever, 
you're motivated to achieve your college and career goals to make a positive impact in our world. I'm presenting the award above and beyond. Regardless of the request, these students have been regular faces around the office or at the events, volunteering many hours back to Champions for Learning. For this award, I'm proud to recognize the following students. Janelle Below, Lindsay Lydon, Nifteli Nicholas, Majin Etienne, Victor Kavashinev, Yoslin Lopez, Wilfredo Rodriguez, Gustavo Compion, Alicia Green, Nicanor Etienne. Hey there, class of 2020. My name is Michael Jean Baptiste, and I am an alumni of the Take Stock program and currently serve on the Champions for Learning Board of Directors. I would like to thank you all for your amazing strength, patience, and perseverance in this brave new world. 
I want you all to know that the magnitude of your achievements is still grand. I am also graduating with the Masters this semester, and even though we cannot be traditional in our celebration, the struggle and sacrifice it took to get to this point was not in vain. You have all struggled and sacrificed, and I am proud of each and every one of you for making it this far and overcoming these unprecedented obstacles. Though we cannot meet face to face, I want to congratulate you all on your hard work in reaching this important milestone. I would also like to personally welcome you into the alumni of Champions for Learning. Each and every one of you is now part of something much larger. Being a part of community is now more important than ever, and it is up to us as alumni to help the future classes succeed. As you prepare for the next step in your lives, please don't forget those who helped you get to this point. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I wish you all continued success. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello to friends and families, and especially you almost graduates. My name is Cindy Helton. I'm the executive director of the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation. In the last few months, you've all learned something that's not available in any textbook, but you will carry it for your entire life and be better for it. Experts call it resilience, but most of us call just getting through it. It's one of those things that you will use many times personally and professionally. Your class of graduates will all have a common story to tell with lots of different and important details, and that makes your graduation unique. Whether you're going on to higher education, trade school, or getting into the working world, resilience goes with you and it will never fail you. If you can get up and fight through a pandemic, you're qualified for graduation and you're qualified for life. As you officially cross over to graduate, you also become citizens of the world. It's a big, bold opportunity and you will be here in this place only once in your life. So grab a hold of whatever your dreams are and remember to reach back and help others coming up behind you. That's how we really succeed, by helping others in addition to ourselves. On behalf of Suncoast Credit Union, congratulations. We wish you all the success you're willing to work for and our greatest hope is that you will find your own unique way to be a champion for good. Hi, Take Stock Class of 2020. This is Jillian Hasner, President and CEO of Take Stock and Children. I just wanted to send a quick shout out to you of congratulations. I am so proud of you at Champions of Learning for all of your perseverance and strength that you've shown through this difficult time. I wanna congratulate you and send a thanks to all of your mentors, the staff, and everyone at Champions of Learning. Thank you so much for all that you've done. And to our seniors, please know how proud we are of you and know that we are always with you at Take Stock and Children. Congratulations, seniors. Hello, seniors. I would like to congratulate the following students who each provided over 300 hours of service to their community. Thank you for your wonderful spirit of giving and for this incredible gift of time that you have given back to Collier County. Gidi Bakari, Janelle Below, Alejandro Beristain, Janika Faustin, Maiti Herrera, Gabriela Morales, Neftali Nicholas, Wijanali Palisier, Brissa Ruiz, Alejandra St. Fleur, Emma Sullivan, and MSAL Vega. Congratulations and thank you for all you've done for your community.
On behalf of the board of directors, staff, and volunteers at Champions for Learning, we'd like to congratulate our graduating class of 2020. None of us could have expected the challenges that we're all facing today, but nonetheless, you have achieved great accomplishments and made us very proud. It's been an honor to work with you and your families. We hope you'll stay close to your Champions for Learning family and find a way in the next few years to help pay it forward to the students coming behind you. You've become leaders in our community and we're very proud of you as we follow you in your pathways to the future. Congratulations again, and thank you for your commitment to our program.